Joe, you're an AFC Bournemouth player. How do you feel? Yeah, over the moon. Uh, no, it's been a bit of a, a long time coming, shall we say, but no, delighted that it's finally over the line now. I was going to mention that it's a move that definitely feels like it's been in the pipeline for a long time. Yeah, uh, as you say, you know, it came quite close in, in, in the last window in Jan and, you know, unfortunately it didn't, didn't quite happen, but, you know, thankfully the, the interest was still there in this window and, like I say now, thankfully it's, it's finally over the line. And it's probably fair to say you're one of the most highly sought after free agents in, in the country. Um, when the teams are pitching uh, towards you, you know, what separated Bournemouth from the rest? Uh, well, as soon as I spoke to the manager, yeah, I knew it was going to take some beating for me to, to go elsewhere, you know. And has he kind of talked to you about what, you know, what your role will be and how you'll fit into the team? Yeah, a little bit. So, um, you know, obviously he has his reasons for why, why he wants me to come here, bring certain qualities that, you know, he, he might not have in the squad already. And I'll just come here and, and try and do as, as, I've, as I've done wherever, I've, where else I've, wherever else I've played. And, you know, hopefully it's... Uh, it works in this league as well. And it might be, must be quite an exciting prospect to play under, under Parker, knowing that he was a, a successful midfielder himself. Definitely, yeah. That was another big, big pull for me, you know, ex-midfielder. And he spoke to me about what he saw in me and, you know, he's, he's seen things that he's never, never seen before in midfielders. And like I say, he said all the right things and it, it ticked all the right boxes. And for the, those supporters who might not have seen you play very often, um, you know, what attributes will you bring to the team? I like to try and pick the ball up a bit deeper or higher and, you know, I, I like to run with the ball. You know, it's not, um, like I say, there's not probably many midfielders who will get it and, and try and run the length of the pitches, which is what, you know, I can sometimes do. And it's a quality that just comes quite naturally to me. And like I say, hopefully I can get out on that pitch and, and do the same here. Talking about your ability to dribble the ball, Tony Mowbray once said that you'd be one of the best dribblers in the ball in the Premier League. Is that an attribute you're looking to bring in and, you know, I guess, excite the supporters? Definitely, yeah. Uh, you know, I've, I've not actually heard him say that, so, but now you've said it, it, it sounds quite nice. And uh, like I say, hopefully I can come out here and showcase, showcase my talents in this league and hopefully catch the eye. And you obviously played against Bournemouth this season. At the game at Vitality Stadium, you, you know, ended the game with the most interceptions of any player on either team. So it's, you know, it's not just an attacking threat that you bring, but also an all-round game. Yeah, it's the side of the game that I've, that I've had to work really hard on is, is my out of possession and defensive side of the game. And over the last 18 months, two years, it is something that I've, I've really improved on. And as you say, them stats there kind of back up the argument. And what did you make of the Cherries when you faced them this season? Really impressed. Uh, you know, I think we, they, we caught them at a time when we was in a bit of a hot streak and, you know, we didn't seem like we were going to lose. And it was obviously the reverse when we played them. Down at our place, you know, they really turned up that day and, you know, they, they knew it was a big, big game for them because, as I say, the game after that, it was the one that sealed it for them. 73 games in League One, 151 games in the Championship. You now get to call yourself a Premier League player. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, it's something that I've, I've been working towards ever since, ever since I left United as a kid. It was, it was always an ambition of mine to, to, to get back there one day and, you know, I'm thankful that this club has given me the opportunity to do that. And immediately into pre-season, testing begins tomorrow. You looking forward to you know getting started and meeting the boys? Can't wait. Yeah, it's been a, a long summer, I'd say, but you know, I'm definitely ready now to, to get back into the swing of things.